Hello, have a nice day. Today I'm going to share with you an application that I've done for a company in uh, Singapore. They've um, required a simulation for a room, like uh, an office space, which is, uh, we can see here, which is uh, 15 by 15. Uh, they wanted uh, different situations for the facade uh, and to see the, the heat uh, transmission and the heat and the cooling requirement uh, for the space uh, according to that these situations. I'm gonna show you the situations now so uh, for now it's opaque wall parts uh, along with uh, triple glazing uh, of course these ratios can uh, go higher or smaller as we want and uh, the other situations we can have here like also triple glazing uh, like it's the whole uh, facade in the in the back uh, background, and on front of it, uh, you can see uh, there is the semi-transparent uh, facade slates that um, usually used, and of course we can also change the ratio of them, and that will change everything in the calculations and the uh, as we see the interior uh, temperature and so. Uh, what else we have? We have a triple glazing, no solar, um, you know, barriers in front of the glass facade, uh, but the glass is a triple glazing glass, and the other situation is uh, a single glazing uh, facade. So the parameters here that we can control are, uh, as we can see, the the target interior temperature. Uh, so before that, I'm gonna show what we have here um, from our um, simulation in, um, in in ladybug we can get the average external temperature as we can see here for the whole year so now we are doing uh, this analysis for the whole year which is 8760 hours and the average um, temperature for these hours is this uh, 27.6 of course uh, it's Singapore and According to all of these uh, elements, um, the interior heating and the, the glazing heating and, and what's happening inside, it's going to be uh, average temperature of almost 30. So um, these are uh, the existing uh, situation or the existing parameters, and we can control the interior, uh, the interior or the target. Uh, interior temperature for example if I want it to be 24 then according to the calculations and the standards uh, of uh, Singapore we can see that we are gonna spend uh, 42,830 uh, kilowatts um, per that year so if I want of course to make it a bit lower I'm gonna be using more wattage, uh, more kilowattage to uh, cool my areas. Uh, of course, that works uh, as uh, like to when you set the parameter to uh, the number that you like. And of course, we can do the the whole simulation for uh, one period of a time. For example, it's uh, for one month uh, in in the maybe in the summer or like couple months and so. Uh, to calculate how much of energy of cooling that I'm gonna use this month so that's uh, also possible and we have this uh, parameter here of the interior heat map uh, you know when it's an, uh, an office uh, space so it's like an average of 6 watts per meter square or like square meters uh, you know it's like the heat coming from people and the machines and computers um, usually this is uh, the space or the the normal standard um, number but somehow if you increase that maybe the number of workers get increased uh, it will affect of course uh, everything in uh, the calculation <coughs> um, yeah and what else so each one of these um, of these situations <coughs> Each one of these situations are uh, controlled by uh, some parameters. For example, the single glazing, you can see here, um, like what is the U value of the glass, you know, the transmission, uh, the heat transmission value. 
if it's better glass and you make it like better isolated glass you can see you can save some uh, energy from the cooling and uh, when it is uh, its solar transmission factor is also less you can also save a lot of uh, cooling requirement it, it uh, takes part of the solar heating that hits inside uh, your space so just like that uh, you can also control uh, everything in the other situations for example uh, now the percentage of the facade slate the uh, the sun barriers I can put them to a full 100 and uh, these barriers can have uh, less solar transfer like solar uh, yeah transmission uh, as well as the glass can be also better or uh, worse according to the situation that we have so we will immediately have uh, the cooling requirement uh, uh, in kilowatts yeah and the last situation is similar when we have uh, triple glazing with opaque wall parts uh, for example if I make this all 100 so I'm gonna be saving a lot of uh, cooling energy but of course uh, no one work, wants to work in, in such uh, space so you can optimize that uh, as and find uh, the optimum uh, solution or the uh, optimum situation situation that you need for your office space uh, for further info please contact me and have a nice day